it's pineapple season and I'm going to show y'all how to get the perfect one. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Welcome! So today I want to talk all about getting the perfect pineapple. Some of you might call it a puff whatever puff pineapple same thing to me so y'all see me rocking my pineapple all the time especially on instagram i love me a good delicious fluffy beautiful pineapple now every time i post a photo you guys are always asking questions on how i achieve it and i've always thought in the back of my mind like it's pretty simple but there's actually a few things that i use specifically and certain things that i do in different situations in order to achieve the pineapple that i always want so we're gonna get into all of those details, but before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out, you already know, and you'll be notified every single time a new video drops. Thank you so much for subscribing, now let's get started. So I'm starting with day three here, like pause for two seconds because I'm really proud of it. I'm getting closer to finding those Holy Grail products after giving up Diva Curl, but that's gonna be for another video. Today we're focusing on pineapples. I kinda like to wait until day three and older in order to do my pineapples because as the days go by, my curls always get bigger and bigger and bigger. And when you're doing a puff, you always wanna start out with a good amount of volume. So I usually just start like right before I actually clip it up. I kind of just run my hands through my hair like this in order to encourage a little bit more volume because again, you want all the volume that you can get. So we're fluffing and we're fluffing some more. So we've got some really good volume coming on. Honestly, like look at this though. I'm really proud of this day three hair. We are getting real close to that Holy Grail products video, y'all. All right, so now that we've got all this volume going on, let's start with doing a loose pineapple. So I like to do a loose pineapple when I'm working out, when I go to sleep, when I go out on the road to run some errands. It's also a really great airport hairstyle. It's just a super comfortable pineapple and it gives like minimal disruption to your curl pattern. So hair ties are super, super important for like a simple loose pineapple. The ones that I love are these thick bad boys right here. And they're 100% seamless. And they're also very, very stretchy. I swear by these 100%. I order these in bulk because I literally cannot live without them. They don't rip my hair out. They're not uncomfortable. They're not too tight. They're just honestly so perfect for super thick curly hair. So if you're interested in purchasing, I did link my Amazon page below. Just click on that and then you can go to the natural hair tool section and you'll find that in there. So this is really my go-to hair tie basically at all times, but especially for a loose pineapple. So basically all I do is clip up my hair with this just one time. So I don't twist it around and do it really tight. It literally just goes around one time and stays in my hair very loose. Now the looser that your hair tie is around your hair is the bigger that your hair is going to appear at the top. So I just kind of start by picking up my hair like this in the back. Sometimes it's easier to just kind of stand up and then flip your head upside down and then do it that way. Boom. So that's it, literally one clip up, and this is the crazy amount of volume that we've got on top. You can see this is huge. So once it's all clipped up, I basically just fluff it out like this and then kind of deal with these like weird curls and shape it out the way that I want it to be. So that is basically it for a loose pineapple. Super easy, super simple. And like I said, it is very minimal disruption for your curl pattern. So if you want to go the next day with your hair out, you just simply take it out, shake it out, and then it's quite easy to refresh. So now moving on to a tighter pineapple. So you might want to consider a tighter pineapple if you want it to look a little bit cleaner, a little bit more put together. Now like I said, when it's tighter, your puff is going to appear a little bit smaller. So you guys will see what I mean. So I still continue to use seamless hair ties, but I use smaller ones when I'm looking for a more tighter, cleaner pineapple. So these are ones that I just picked up at the checkout counter of H&M. I will check on Amazon to see if they're available there, and if they are, you can just check my page, which is linked below, and I will have them added there for you. So these are basically just like the smaller version of the first hair tie that I showed you. So 100% seamless, they're just a lot smaller, and they're still pretty stretchy, but the seamless part is super important because you don't want it ripping out your hair. When it has that little glue part, y'all know what I'm talking about, in the little hair ties, 
and it has a glue or it has like a metal clasp and that just completely rips out my hair it's always a nightmare so that's why I love to use these 100% seamless hair ties I'm gonna go ahead and just stretch this out a little bit and then we're gonna loop it around twice So here's how we're looking with a tighter pineapple. So as you can see, we still got like a good amount of volume on top, but it looks a lot more like controlled a little bit than the other one. It's like a little bit more round and it's just a little bit smaller, a little bit more contained. It's cute. So we still kind of got the look going. It's just a little bit more cleaned up. So when I'm aiming for a cleaner pineapple, I also then like to apply product to my front and then kind of brush it back so that it's nice and like extra neat. So I'll usually just grab like a mousse. The reason I like mousse is because the consistency of it is so wet and then it also offers a little bit of hold as well. The mousse I'm gonna be using today is the Miel Curly Cocktail Curl Mousse. So really, you can use any mousse, any product. You can even just use a leave-in conditioner if you don't want it to be like super slick. So I just apply it to my edges. And then I just go in with a brush to smooth it all down. So you can see like this look is a lot more clean and like put together. So I usually do this style maybe a little bit closer to wash day when I have like more old curls. It's a little bit harder to refresh your curls once the pineapple is this tight. Again, the looser pineapple, like I said, was a lot more minimal disruption to your curl pattern, whereas this one is so tight that you'll almost certainly have like that crimp mark that like is not cute but yeah pineapple in general super easy and simple to do i absolutely love it this is like honestly my go-to style whenever i'm feeling lazy or if my curls just aren't acting right poof up in a pineapple and we go majority of the time especially since we're all now in quarantine i have been doing tons and tons of loose pineapples when i just want my hair on my face and then i can take it out the next day shake it out my curls still look popping and then we take a few pictures for the gram so i really hope this answers all the questions you had for me on my pineapple and how i like to achieve it if you have any further questions go ahead and comment them below and if you did enjoy this video please go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up as usual and also if you didn't subscribe in the beginning please make sure that you are subscribed now and after that you can check out these next two videos i'll catch you on the next one please stay safe and inside bye